Yeah, hi, it's Keith, uh, CEO of Sunsing. I'm back in England, um, hence the thick jumper. So I'm actually doing this video for the UK, really. So if you're seeing it from South Africa, please ignore me. I'm going to start doing more. I'm just going to introduce to you this thing. This is absolutely nappy. Look at the size of this. I'm going to lift it up. This actually is a 3.6 kilowatt bi-directional inverter. Same as the other one. Same software as our standard range. Um, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. This actually has a 7.2 kilowatt MPPT. Two MPPTs up to 7.2 kilowatt. So this is what you get. It's, it's, it's actually really nice. It comes included with the SunSync data logger. So you've got the full SunSync platform. And the thing that obviously confuses everybody, a CT coil. So you can control the export. Always mentioned to people, if you look at the, C the CT coil, it's actually mounted on your grid feed in. It can use it with a meter, of course, if you want to. But if you look at the CT coil, little arrow on the CT coil. So the CT coil faces towards the inverter. You've also got your paralleling cable and your fixings and everything else. But I'm not gonna bore you with this one. To coin a phrase, here's one we set up earlier. <laughs> this one is on the wall. So um, we're going to talk Blue Peter. And if you don't know what Blue Peter is, it's a program that was on when I was a kid. So let me fix my jacket. All right. Okay. So if you look at CT coil, CT coil is mounted on the on the feed coming from the from the meter. Arrow facing towards the inverter. And you see the connections on here. See where the black and the white cable is on the CT coil. Very important. The other thing that you obviously always, when you're setting up these, look at the comms. If you're using something battery, and this is obviously mounted this way, then it's on the canvas, and you can see here where it's plugged in here. PCS, make sure they get the cable the correct way around. Always, first thing set up, two most confusing things that everyone has an issue. One is the CT curl, understanding which way around the CT curl goes. It's very clean. You can see the connections on here. And the other is the canvas communication between the battery and the inverter. If you get that right, then you're absolutely laughing. This actually uses a standard software. Everything is a standard basic SunSync platform. Um, I was actually doing a, some, some things and we we're actually writing a list of what makes the SunSync inverter so amazing. Um, one of the things... We, we were looking at which was the top things and which was the bottom things. Like we came up with a list of 10. Uh, I actually put it onto LinkedIn. And just, but one of the most important factors is its ability to be bi-directional. It's not just a hybrid. It's, of course, it's a hybrid inverter, but it is a bi-directional inverter. That means it can charge and discharge at the same rate. So it's got a 3.6 kilowatt inverter, and that means it can charge the batteries at 3.6, and it can discharge the battery. It doesn't have a separate charger circuit. It's an all-in-one unit unit it reverses it goes backwards and forwards but this beast has a seven over seven kilowatt mppt that means you can put seven thousand watts of solar panels on your roof enough power to charge the batteries and use it in the daytime it's so much power and in fact there's very few roofs in the uk that you can actually put seven kilowatts but it's nice it's got a big back end it's got a big mppt um ac coupled dc coupled Everything coupled, you can use a generator, you can parallel, you can use it off-grid, on-grid, everything for this. And it's a compact, all-in-one unit. It's quiet, doesn't have fans in. It's got one little internal fan, but there's no big external, so it's ultra, ultra quiet. There is a sister product which goes with it, which is the five kilowatt. But the nice thing about this for the UK is, because it keeps under the 3.6, we don't need any special approval. And you're never gonna use that much power because if it's AC coupled, if you're gonna use, it also has obviously got the UPS. So you've got power outages. You can have a non-essential, essential load. So if you've got power, power failure, it can keep your lights on at night. It can do everything. You can add to it if you put the basic system and you wanna put another inverter, they can add together, parallel, off and on grid can parallel. You can add more batteries off and on grid. It can do anything, as I say, Look at it, but the nice thing about it, it's, it's really small, it's really compact, it can go in anywhere. So thanks for following. I am, and I keep saying I'm gonna do proper training videos, which I'm going to do. One thing, just, just before I jump up, you see on here it's got six connections. In fact, it's, it's, it's three pairs and the ground, the earth is underneath it. So you can actually see very clearly, you've got the first is a generator input, middle is a load, which is your essential, and the end one is the grid. Grid is normally both in and out. So most applications, if you're AC coupled, all you do is connect the grid connection to your fuse board. That's it. 
put a suitable isolator, suitable protection device, but the grid goes directly to a fuse. Um, if you're on on this, probably a 30 amp fuse or less would be would be absolutely su sufficient on on the on your on your consumer unit. Um, suggest obviously put some sort of protection device in an RCD and a rotary isolator. You've got on the side of it your isolator for your, your PV. If you're using PV, if you're not using PV, then you can totally ignore it. You don't need to use it. Um, so you've got that. You've also got to say you've got your ground connection underneath is for your data logger. If you want, if you've got, if the inverter is a long, long way away from your meter, then you can connect a, um, a sorry, from, from your mains meter, you can connect a meter on it rather than using a CT call. CT calls are nice because they're very, very fast or whatever. So this also, if you follow the SunSync platform, this can link to the Octopus Agile system. It can be gives you full remote control. Um, and as I was coming out, I was talking about the benefits of it. But one of the major benefits, obviously, the full pa the, the, being a bi-directional inverter, and most people call hybrid inverters, which are really charger inverters, not true hybrid. This is bi-directional, which is what you may class as a super inverter. Um, the other major benefit is, our, as I said before, just jumped about, is our platform. Our platform is really, really good. Download it on the App Store, SunSync. Um, on the, it's called SunSync um, Data Logger. And you can get that on the App Store or you can get it on the uh, Google Play Store, whatever it is. Okay, I'm not so familiar. But both you can download. The other thing is it gives you forced notifications. If something goes wrong, it will tell you exactly. If you're an installer and you've got 100 systems, 200 systems, it will monitor them all. And it will tell you if there's a problem, immediately there's a problem. If you have to make an adjustment on one of those inverters, you can do it straight away from your phone. It, and, and you know what, best of all, our platform is free. There's no monthly charge, there's no service charge, there's nothing. It's completely free. And that comes free with the inverter. So that's another major thing. Of course, our soft, our, our UI, our user interface is amazing. I love it. You know, if you're actually touching the button and you can see here the flow chart, you can see the, the flow, what's going on. Here will give you accumulative figures for the day. Here the dials give you real time figures. So you've got stuff like that going on. It makes us very special. You know, the app was designed in the UK. The software that we use, the interface was designed in the UK and South Africa. And I'm not dick because the guys in South Africa are really, really bright, but it's a joint, it's a Western product. It's designed by Western people. It's a Western, Western platform. And, you know, just have a look at this product. It's really, really nice. Thanks for watching, and I will be doing some training videos very, very soon. I promise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a training video starting from the scratch and understanding inverters and understanding what they're about and what is an inverter if you're not familiar with it. So, thanks for watching.